In Windows 7, Microsoft has included a new networking feature aimed to ease networking computers and sharing files on a home network called Home Groups. In the past, networking computers meant assigning them to a specific work group and it was tough to get it all working right all the time. So Home Groups aim to solve all those issues by making it one click, which it pretty much is right now. Home Group allows users to share their documents, music, and photos between home computers running Windows 7 on a home network. We should be clear here. This will only work with Windows 7 computers. Any systems running on any other version of Windows will have to still be networked the old-fashioned way. Home Group also allows users to share USB connected printers among their computers too allowing any computer in the home group to print to any printer in the home, provided it too is connected to a Windows 7 computer in the home group. When you set up your network connection for the first time in Windows 7, it will prompt you to choose a location for your computer. In this case, choose Home Network, which will allow you to use home groups. After a few seconds of configuration, the wizard will prompt you to choose which type of files to share – pictures, documents, music, etc. Once you've done that, the last thing the setup wizard will do is show you the generated unique password for your home group, which you will use to join other Windows 7 computers. To join another computer to the home group, go to Start, Control Panel, Network, and Sharing Center. Then click on Available to Join under the heading View Your Active Networks. The computer shown is already a member of the home group, but it will show up in the same blue highlighted area. Once you click Join, it will ask you one more time to confirm joining and then ask for that password that the main home group computer gave to you. You'll then choose which file types to share with other computers on the home group which gives you an element of privacy if you want it. Once joined, the computers in the home group and their shared files will appear in the left navigation pane under Home Group in any Windows Explorer window. Also, a new Share With drop-down has been added to the top menu of Windows Explorer 2, which lets you individually tell Windows 7 which files or folders you want to share or not share. Windows 7 will also automatically install any printers located within the home group to all computers joined and you can print to it from any system just like you would a regular local printer. Windows Media Player and Windows Media Center will also automatically search home group computers for media files that it can play, which makes an excellent home entertainment setup if you have content strewn across many computers. Again, home groups are best used for home networks where you have files that you want accessible from multiple locations in your home. It allows for quick and easy setup without any of the hassle of the traditional method of file sharing among network computers. Novice users will find it a snap to use and media enthusiasts will appreciate the robust media streaming features too. Visit the PC Remedies blog for more great video tips and remedies.